This is Totally Tober. I'm Dak. Today, we're gonna be doing origami. We're gonna be making a paper crane. Stay tuned. <laughs> start you off with this. Traditionally, it says that if you make 1,000 paper cranes, that you will get to make one very special wish. So today I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, we're gonna start off with paper. For starters, you need a square. First and foremost, making a sake bomb. You got your traditional sake and Sapporo beer. Sake, sake, oh God! <clears throat> Bring extra sheets of paper. Today's top story, birds. How did they make? What? To make a paper crane, first, like I said, you need a square piece of paper. Now, if the viewers at home have noticed, this is not a square. To make a square, you make a triangle. First fold. Now, take this pointlessness, fold, fold, and fold. This excess, we're gonna rip it off. You almost really wanna get in there. You wanna get it nice and wet. Fold it over. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't like it enough. Let's be real. Okay. <clears throat> wow, these directions. After you complete the folding of the square, the ripping and the tearing, the licking, you want to fold in half diagonally and open, which we've done it once, and now we're going to do it the second time. From there, turn the paper over to the opposite side. Kind of looks like a little mountain. Then fold it again the other direction. <laughs> Be prepared to fold in the same place. All right, try to get the same lines. Oh, that's terrible. Using the creases you have just made, bring the top three corners down towards the bottom of the paper. You wanna fold the paper in half. Crease well and open. This. Diagonal. This is in half. Uh, yeah. Yet again, fold the other way in half. Boom, two hot dogs, ready to go. It's a square so they each make a hot dog, that makes sense. Take that, go ahead and flatten it. And we have completed the square base. Done and done. Look at that. Base! Look at that, that was easy. That was super good. Do I have to finish that? Fold the top left and right flaps into the center and unfold. Just kind of like a paper airplane. Done and done. Bada bing, bada boom, open those back up. Fold the top point of the model downwards to create a horizontal fold that connects the diagonal folds you just made. What did I just read? You create a horizontal fold that connects the diagonal fold. Every time I read that, I can't, it's, do you ever read something in a book and just like have no idea what you just read? That's been happening every time I read this. What the fuck is it saying? Boom. There you go. Are we following along? Is everyone following along? Good. Open the upper flap, pressing the sides of the model inwards at the same time. Of the model inward, flatten down Creasing well. Word of the day, guys. Crease. Look at that. Done. We're in a good spot right now. Open the, nope, just read that. Flattened, nope, just read that. There's a novel, they gave me a novel. To complete the bird base, turn the model over and repeat the previous five bullet points on the other side. All right, you guessed it. Everything we've done once, we're probably gonna do twice. You need a perfect bird. Have you ever seen a perfect bird? Bada bing. Are these legs? Are <laughs> these gonna be the legs? If you've been following along, you'll find yourself at something that looks like this. It's eventually gonna look right. We're finishing the folds, guys. We're on the final step. Bottom. 
fold those top flaps into the center, just like before. Oh. Inside, reverse fold the legs along the creases you just- Take one of these bad boys. Inside, reverse fold. Fold the wings down to complete your origami crane. So if you look at it from one angle, it's probably right. That's okay, you know. There's no such thing as a perfect bird. Now you only have 999 left to go. Nine hundred and ninety-nine more cranes. <clears throat> yeah, so I can only fold one more and get another wish. Yeah. Duh. <laughs>